Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse Jags with that one, Jago. Yes, we have our guest in the building. Growing up in the Abute Meta area of Lagos, our guest got his big break in the Nigerian music industry in 2003 with his hit song, Baby Conga. He has since worked with a number of Nigerian artists, both home and abroad, featuring on notable collaborations, including um, X Projects, Lori Lair. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Lawao Olalekon, a.k.a. Conga. And it's in the building! <laughs> 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 It's always very fun having Conga in the house. Good now, to wow. see you again. Same here. Energy for days. To for days. To be here, yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> so, it's something about Conga a lot of people don't know. And we're just talking, Faladile and I were just talking about people who are, you think they are weird in a way, and they are really good humans. Yeah. Yes, and I can say, like I can really, really say, Pe Conga is a good human. <laughs> I know, Wait, I know. Can you tell and, us now? And, and, and then again, there are some things about Conga, you know, like I have spoken to Conga so many times and he has, hmm, he actually has values. Oh. Like Conga will tell you that. Well, you ask him baby mama now, you tell you that I believe that you should do things. And I'm like, eh, coming from who Conga? <laughs> Is it still like that? I mean, you have changed. Because Conga, you don't have one baby mama. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll be that time. Wow. Well, we have started uh, though. Just, <laughs> there will be one major intro. I just, I just, I just watch as only for just. Hey, you know, you. They, you understand? They want you. You understand? Ah, so do you have Conga? Mm -hmm. Has it changed? Mm -hmm. Conga, do you have baby mama? I beg your partner. <laughs> Actually, listen, listen. Do you have a listen. partner? Yeah, yeah. I have, a, I have a partner right now, and we are working on the. There's no baby mama side, so okay. you should stop this baby mama side thing. Is there baby? There's no. Ba but there's baby. We are working on it. <laughs> my baby, me and my baby are working, working on the baby. So you guys will get married. Babe, eh, only pot. You just like you won't marry me, Abby. <laughs> you won't, don't scatter my house. Oh. No. My baby, they watch. Oh. No. Baby, honey pot has. No, <laughs> you no, know, Conga, you know why we're saying this? Yeah, so, we, we talk often about the baby mama culture here yeah, on the show. Yeah, yeah. And then the other day, we're saying how uh, it looks like this thing is becoming a norm in Nigeria. Yeah. Then earlier on the show, when we were doing this, we were talking about uh, 10 years of dating somebody. You don't want to ring the Proposed. person. Do you, one, do you believe in marriage? Two, is there a plan for marriage? Of course there's a plan for marriage. I believe in marriage. Okay. And to be honest, I don't... The way I see some men, they handle their woman. Me, I know they... But most probably we Nigerians, I'm sorry, I'm part of them, but I, I really wanted to do more because these are our mama them, then be our... They, we are compatible together and I expect more from we the men you know, to do more for them because we know say them be woman and they are way and we have more strength to do more. So by the special grace of God, you know, I pray that I'm I will be one of that channel to convince Nigerian men that these are precious women, they were beyond even their hard working and all. Mm. You know? So so does that mean that like I'm so sorry to drag this but yeah. I really because I'm curious about what you mean by Nigerian men treating women badly. Do you mean in terms of few treating Nigerian, I can be I've been seeing some stuff online, some people will just eat their wife. Okay. How can you do that? Okay. Okay. For crying out loud. Okay. Okay. A lady where you know say, come on now. But not like cheating. Cheating, cheating is not treating them badly. Well, 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 well. Uh, I don't want it to be like, <laughs> you know, say we men are men. So no fear. I'm if to I come back to, if I come, if I come back home, home, yeah, in a normal level. <laughs> if I come back home to you to come and eat your food, that means I have I love real you. love in, in my heart. No, no, our business, our work. Oh. What babe, is your work? Babe, who down? Oh, so it's only beating that is bad. No, 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 it's wait now. It's like you're now. Do you believe that men are wired to cheat naturally? Well, not, level, not all men, listen to not me. Not all. Not, listen to me. Not all men, okay. you know, some, some, they cannot just look like one big out of something. Hundred. No. Well, well, I'm not. Listen, we're, listen. We're at 10. <laughs> we're at 20. <laughs> no, go on. Like I said, like I said, generally, yeah, generally, all men, naturally, when we see better things, we go, they, we they admire them. Mm. You know, not just to the admire with the eye also, we can always look at the future and you know that kind of thing, like, you know now. Oh, now, oh, sorry. Wait, but you, if you know now. Wait, before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just done. This, com this conversation cannot be exhausted. So let's just move on. So, um, Konga, you recently did an interview. I saw that you did an interview and you were saying how uh, proud you are of how far the Nigerian music industry has come. Yeah. And I'm curious about what you are most proud of. Wow, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of the new generation artists, the way they were dropping because I foresee this kind of thing. I want where there's going to be a lot of competitions, where everybody will now not, you, where artists will not have to come out like, okay, I can actually flow into this 
uh, vibe that is going on. I can actually bring out my own versatility and bring my own originality mm -hmm. and make people know. Yeah. So right now is more interesting. Another thing is the internet has helped drastically. Mm -hmm. Before now, Alaba the dictate for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. You know, Alaba go tell you say, guy, now hundred k now I make oh guy, you gotta collect them. If not, she buy you no go touch. But now it's a different ball game. You can monitor your songs. You can monitor your songs online. You can even be in your room. And just, and just one click, you're right there, connected to the world. Okay. So it's, it's, it's more advanced, more profitable now compared to our own season where we say, guy, you go roast too. Okay, talk, so, talk, okay. talking about your own season, yeah. do, you miss, do you miss that era? <laughs> <laughs> sweat. Ah, oh boy, I miss the sweat. I miss the hard work. Oh, yeah. I miss, well, I, I don't pray, I, miss, I, I don't like the word I miss though, but then, oh, yeah. but yeah, yeah, it's one of those things that keep you, that makes you strong, you know, like what I missed, you know, before you know, I'm here, 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 I'm all the radio stations trying to meet up with all the TV stations, trying to make sure if I want to release a song, I need to, I still do that also though like consult some DJs, come come and give me your mm. a professional yeah. list. And I want to hear your own view to the sound, mm. you know? And I'm, I like people being in the studio when I'm making production. So yeah. you can hear from your own side of view and tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so Conga, <clears throat> before you came on sets, yeah. uh, we're talking about how people become popular yeah. at certain points yeah. and all of a sudden, uh, they're not really popular again. They're not popping like that. And well, it was for Ladile and I, and we we're wondering if people get worried. And she was asking me the question. So I gave out my own version mm -hmm. of it. Like, I think that happens to everybody, time and season and all that. What do you think? Because at the time it was conga everywhere. Mm -hmm. you, you, switched yeah. Yeah. you switched the sound. You switched the sound. Yes, yes. How I think she switched the sound. That's baby conga. Yeah, you conga. <laughs> you know, and, yeah, and you, it was always singing in Agel, what yeah. people would call Eno, mm -hmm. you know, and all that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you want to talk to us about that. What is it about you? Is this something that you think that, of course, you have experienced? What do you think? What exactly comes to mind? And also, well, how good of an understanding of times and seasons do you have? That kind of thing. So that was the conversation. <sighs> wow. <laughs> well, I, I believe in trend. Mm. And trend is something that there's no... We, as a normal street boy, we, I, I usually say to my boys or my people, like... You know, there's no current champion. Mm. Champion comes and go. Don't just mm. think the video of today, there are still young people coming up like that. Who would ever talk of the video of some months ago? Just and with alongside with Whiskey right now and the top some other boys like that on the block. So what I say is this, yeah? I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with, you know, am I the one am I rave of the moment? Is it happening? No. My pro what I have a problem with my problem right now is getting back to the studio and pulling up one or two jobs together. And as I'm talking to you now, hmm, let me just smile. <laughs> 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 let me just smile because I have one or two um, songs that I want uh, my fans to actually um, feel my kind of vibe this season and mm -hmm. what's going on. I just dropped one on my birthday, January 9th. So, what I had to say to this is... Was that Shockbet, yeah? Yeah, that's Shockbet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually trending online and people are asking for the video. Yes, I'm working on the video and another one is coming next week. Me and Solly Star. This is actually... Mm. Wow. This is This is... This is actually... When I, when I know now if I come with Collabo, say I won't drop them. Hmm. So... <laughs> it's, yes, of course. It's actually... The title of the song is What Did You Want? Mm. Yes. What did my fans want? I want me to tell me when I drop this what song. If, oh. What if you drop the song and... It's not a hit and it doesn't go far. What happens? Okay. Speaking of which, the way like you what said, in your mind? what if, mm -hmm. before now I said, if I want to drop a jam or we wanted to put up something on network for my people to enjoy, I call some people, I call them musicologists. I call them a pianist or if you know sound, if you know a hit song, or like me, if I hear a hit song, I will know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will know. Once I hear it, I will know. So I'll just call them, call my DJs, call all my people, have some drinks, have some yeah, beautiful and things. Tell and me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> so I like that's that. really well. So we will know. We will definitely know. Another thing is when you are dropping a song, now 
unlike our own time, we can still do our oh, joy about our players, about the players. But now, guy, you have to be talking money for everywhere to be. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Talking about talking money. Is there anybody with him? Mm, we have to go on this commercial break. Let's get to the market so that we can make some money. Yes, so sir. Will be here. Mm. Mm. Don't kill me, are <laughs> <laughs> You made it so cool. I want to say you made it so cool to be. To be, to be, to be yeah, I know, right? I was like, oh my god. But, and then to hear you now speak so well, it's like, come yes. on. Also, Wait, what's that? No, not to know. <laughs> no, no, I don't like it. Do you want to shaggy like... me up now? Am I, I'm not shaggy now. Come on now. My own is, uh, you know. <laughs> but, but we were talking about that um, video and yeah, the song okay. itself and the experience. Of course, working with Green, Remy Aluko. Yeah. Um, we talked about a couple of people who cited in the video and we talked about Unlimited earlier as well. But um, let's and go our, back to... light, huh? And a light, huh? But let's go back to the Dark Green one. And you had a very interesting story about... You know, sitting him down and saying, Dark Green, ah, commercial, Lunjawo, please, can you tell us that story? Well, actually, actually, what happened, what really happened was that, may so rest in peace, mm -hmm. you know, wow. <laughs> that green, little cool lady. <laughs> uh, cool big way. up shout out to all the Sui lady because that year I remember saying, Booty Meta versus Sui lady, we know they agree. <laughs> yes, we know they agree. It's always a competition that who is going to bring the next superstar, yeah. mm -hmm. who is going to bring the next hit song. So it's always back to back, Sui lady, where them see them, Allen Avenue, then DJT, they mm -hmm. hold down yeah. a Keja. So it was, it was a competition within street to streets. Mm -hmm. That at that time, you go the year, street fights, street competition, street rap battle. Yeah, rap battle. It was way interesting, you know. And me and Jack Green, the way we take, the way we take merge, man, not just God, because each time me and this guy, they always jam. Now for, now for, if Zara would jam for a catcher, what would they trek? In feel the trek to come like this. <laughs> or maybe I just trek, they go. Maybe they come from Star FM, or they come from one Lamba or Kalakuta. I would just jam that Green for Okwebi, or I jam him for Shita, or I you know that kind of waka? To go the, Based on the also, so when I when I came back from London and Ben TV UK, they had to brought me because Kaba, Kaba, I mean Baby Conga was big all over UK. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, after the show, and I now had this inspiration about, you know, we need to have our own original because everybody know me for Street King, Booty Metal Number One, you know. So this I listened to different kind of song when I was there. Electro, electro, electronic sound, yeah. mm -hmm. um, garage music. Mm -hmm. They have different kind of genres of music. And I'm like, damn. So coming back, I have to start working on something for my own commercial garage for Nigerian street song. That was when I came up with Kaba Kaba. <laughs> I remember then I called um, uh, uh, Suki, Su Sinzu. Mm. Suski. 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 Suski was supposed to be on Kaba Kaba. But one, one thing or the other, he was not able to bounce on it. And, and I'll tell Lilo, come, all this Porsche, all this Oimbo way they do. <laughs> me, I get one way, the guy. If I call this guy, eh, eh, see, see the track. this guy come here. See, we need, we need, he said, let's call him. We need like, we need like Nero. We need like, oh. <laughs> we need like Nero. We need like, oh. We need, let me just call this guy. And that's why I call mm. that green. He didn't know that green. He didn't know him from nowhere. So Lilo, this is that green. The first line, when the beat just of ba, ba, ti, ba, ti, ba, ba. He said, what's with this guy's name? I said, Nalelo. He said, who that guy when he hear him voice? I said, nah, let me, I said, ah, I'll tell you that, that green gun guy. <laughs> Before you know, Nalelo just like this. <laughs> this one gets killed. Nalelo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so talk, talking about this situation right now, how do you feel right now that the streets has actually taken over? This is my joy. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what I tell people that asked me a question 10 years ago. Like a lot of presenters asked me, mm -hmm. where did I hope to see myself in 10 years to come? I said, come, this, this 10 years, like this 10 years will be like this now. Eh? With a year, that time, with a year Tupac, with a year Snoop Dogg, with a year um, all these um, biggie for clubs everywhere. Before you go hear Nigerian songs, eh, go, you go try, except say you won't perform. <laughs> or you won't just freestyle. But song. now it's a different ball game. Like I told them 10 years ago, our music is gonna be a threat to the world music platform. But sure. quickly, one question quickly. So last year we rounded off 
an, yeah. uh, one decade and now it's another yeah. decade. And yeah. so people were talking about songs of the decade, artists of the decade, and and YQ was so cross with people that people just forgot about that green. Now you have talked about that green. You know, yeah. and so what would you say about you know the least people were making about songs of the decade, artists of the decade? I didn't really get your point, Miss. Okay, so people were actually talking okay, about Liz. artists of the decade, songs of the decade, okay. and all that. And okay. so YQ, you remember YQ? Yeah, I remember. So him. YQ was so cross with people that they forgot completely about, about that, that green. Yes. Yes. And so, what exactly did you think about that list people were making that time? Well. Well, this is this is Africa. This is Nigeria. I want us to do, I want us to do more in bringing back our legends, cause I never ever even could imagine this new young chap now would not even want us to come together and create a song for such a talent like that green, like this new new style now. Because I have this idea. I'm actually working on a song that I will bring all these instruments. I've already done it. I'm just waiting for the right time to, to drop it. Like, all the instruments are all the best song that Green had. That Green is not only the hardest that we need, yeah. like um, uh, Molaya, Victoria, yeah, just Victor passed on to. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful songs. Um, there are more artists like that. Like the Downfall Driver, we just lo mm -hmm. lost yeah, one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was with him some, for like, like some months ago on one or two events. Surprisingly, I heard, I'm like, oh my God, What's mm. going on, mm. you know? But please, if it's uh, Mr. Excellency that is hearing me, uh, the Lagos State Governor, please, if it is um, the presidency that is hearing us, watching us live on program right now, we've done so well for this country. And I believe, and I believe everybody will support me on this motion that they need to actually take a good look at the all right, thank yeah. you so much. Industry. Thank you indeed, Konga, for coming on the show. It's yeah. been so beautiful having you here. You. Now, guys, we have to go. Yay! And I've done this <laughs> with Fola Delef. <laughs> <laughs> King OJ. Yes, sir. The Spanish dude. My yeah. name is Honey Pots. <laughs> Thank you once again, Conga. I don't want to go. I don't want you to go. My but name is Honey Pots. Let's dance, let's dance. Oh, the song is Holly Star. It's coming up.